F double R, F double R, F double R, F double R. Gotta bring that energy. Gotta bring that energy. What's going on, friends? Welcome back to F double R Friend Request Reviews. I'm Brolic. And now I'm formal. And today is a glorious day, man. I've been waiting for these two episodes for a very, very, very long time. But before we get into that, just want to say everybody that tuned in to Break the Bad, just want to say thank you. I hope and pray that y'all have a blessed holiday. I know the holidays are coming up soon. So, you know, we pray and hope that everything is all good and well. That being said, man, today is episode six, titled Sunset. So formal, man. What you what you think is gonna go down under the sunset of Breaking Bad episode six? Yeah, I don't I don't know. I don't want to waste too much time trying to make a prediction because I'm honestly lost. I know the the big thing that I'm most just curious about right now mm -hmm. with this season alone, as y'all already know that y if y'all been watching, is the beef between Jesse and Walt. Because like I said, I've been thought that that was gonna get resolved, and Passed it up. seems like every episode is getting escalated. So. I don't know what the hell Sunset's about, but I do want to dig more into this beef that Jesse and Walt is going through. So, so without further ado, don't forget to like, don't forget to comment, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. The goal is 1K subscribers, so if you can help some brothers out, click that subscribe button, hit that bell, so you get notified when we go live. Let's get to it. Go. Dirty. Need you to look in on Mrs. Pekatiwa. She all right? Her daughter called from California. She hasn't heard from her in a while. Mm. Kind of worried. That first tea smell. Do. They doing wellness checks. They got Homeland Security doing wellness checks. I mean, she out here in the boonies. Look where she at. I mean, she is though. Crime cartel territory. Yep. Crossing that. <laughs> you ever cross that line? Especially if they got them silver suits. Yup. Mmm, yup. The Heisenberger. Man, ain't it about time you pull your weapon out, bruh? Or something? Damn. There we go. I'm not in glass! I said down on your knees. Mm. Down with the ass too. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> Hit him with I, the Gallagher watermelon routine. Like I love that shot right there because like when he hits him over the head with the axe, it, it syncs up with the bite of the apple. I wonder why he turned around, though. They just trying to add some dramatic flair. I think he turned around just to kind of keep him focused on him. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. Maybe they got soft sides. They they the ultimate hitmen that don't like to watch people die. Like, <laughs> <laughs> one one and only kills the other one doesn't like watching people die. I mean, like unless they do it with their hands, they don't like to see it. Like like he's he's squeamish with, when it comes to blood and shit. Oh no. <laughs> It would be funny though, a little twist there, like. I think he saw it coming. Wait, where Walt at right now? He sees you're unhappy. They're talking about the divorce. My unhappiness. But now, where is he? My completely. He in his own little. He got a new spot. Blue sky. Oh no. Unhappy. Now, I suggest that you add this to your romantic list. Here, these motherfuckers go. Who these niggas think they is? Cause just walk in on my boy like that. Gus, where your goons at, bro? You gotta get your own. Shade. Check out that crystal size, yo. If that bitch was any bigger, it'd be a jolly rancher. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> Come on, Jesse. You sober now, though. You know you got to replace these, this, these fucking, these guys. They're not. Oh, <laughs> real life bean oh. shit. That man started doing. Oh my. River dance. River dance. Oh man, that's exactly the move that Frodo did before at Bilbo's birthday party. Oh, <laughs> the Lord of the Dance, see? The Shit. Lord of the Rings. Oh, and you know that buzzer thing? 
Leave the key in the ignition and it buzzes. Well, yeah. just have him put in one of those. <laughs> he hurt it. <laughs> got that PTS dizzle, boy. <laughs> I'm not about to be out there in Ohio Desert again. Facts. <laughs> and I'm going to be dolo. Nobody to really bail me out. One thing he hasn't thought of yet is completely replacing that RV for something different. We good. Oh, I know they ain't just pull up on him like this every day. <laughs> yo. Every day? I be like, yo, y'all got to order something, for real. Oh, y'all going to have to go. He said, all my employees are trusted and trained. That should well, be from every, that should be from the laundry mat to El Pollo Loco nah. to everything that he owns. Like, <laughs> he got to have, they, they should be pulling out the, from under the fryer and shit. Like, what up? <laughs> Like, getting it right. Like, Motherfuckers got super soaker with grease in it. Like, bro, you feel me? <laughs> <laughs> super soaker with the hot grease. Like. Just pouring hot grease on their face. Like, you got to shoot that shit before it melts and gets all over your Facts. hands. Like. <laughs> then you just throw and use it as a grenade. Let's go. Look at him. Like a little kid. I'm still, where the staff at? He said he was lying to workers, too. What's up? Did he say that? Got me rubbing my hands. Okay. Yeah, he said he's gonna have a crew. Yeah, you working with real scholars, baby. Who, who mm -hmm. who's Man. this character here? I don't know. One of his employees. What about your employees? Hi, Gail Bedeker. Gail Bedeker. Hi. Gail Bedeker. Oh. Too close to Bedeker. You're my lab assistant. <laughs> Crystallography. Hmm. Really? He like, what the hell are you doing here? We could talk about that for hours. Oh, I would love to. But, man, it's crazy really thinking how smart Walt is. Like, yeah. although he's just a high school teacher, like, he really. He's super yeah, smart. He know, yeah, he know his chemistry. Like, he doesn't have to be a high school teacher. And this ain't nothing. <laughs> like, look, look I, try my Kool-Aid. <laughs> I keep it at the <laughs> coldest temperature. Like, as soon as it hits your tongue, it slushes. Like, they want to get it somewhere else. Mm. And at least with me, they're getting exactly what they pay for. Hmm. No added or adulterants. Hmm. That's yeah, I was doing interesting it way of looking at it. You are supposed to. I mean, that's how some places look at it as mm -hmm. well. And when I say that, I mean like government and stuff, which is why they decriminalize some of it. Because if you're going to go and get it anyways, we'll try to give it to you the purest way so you're not, you know, mm -hmm. out here ODing and shit like that, sharing yeah. dirty needles and all that other stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're absolutely right. So yeah, there's definitely logic behind it. I wandered off by myself in the mystical, moist night air. And from time to time, looked up in perfect silence at the stars. Yes. I am a nerd. <laughs> I mean, I've been figured that when I first saw y'all mugs. <laughs> I'm, I'm not the greatest at interpreting poetry, though, so I'm going to have to reread that one. Yeah, yeah you got to run it by me a couple times. <laughs> For real, what the hell they were talking about. <laughs> Somebody drop that in the comments. What the hell they were talking about in that poem, man? <laughs> Uh-oh. Yeah, Gomez, tell me about his first day. Hey, baby. <laughs> Hi, baby. Oh, okay. Maria, I'm working my legs. Did you find it? The RV? No, I'm working on it, so. Well, um... Not to bring up Not ancient bring history, up ancient but isn't Walt no pink man? But I, for one, can think of someone who might know something. Dun, 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 Possibly. Dun, 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 dun. Yo. Hey, how you doing? Oh, hey, hey. What's up? Listen, I hate to bother you. I just, I just, uh, I just had a quick question. Damn, and they beefing too, so Walt might not even, nah. He ain't, I don't think he that petty. Plus, it'll lead back to him if he just like, yeah, you know, go get him. Okay. <clears throat> That's what you think? Yeah. Do you remember if this Pinkman kid ever had an RV? Mm, they close, Walt. Ooh, they Walt. Very close. Ooh. Yep. He's, he's sitting up like he's playing a fighting game, and the competition <laughs> got real, baby. Playing <laughs> crystal meth. Mm. Using it as a rolling lab. Mm. You hear that music? Guitar strings sound like mm -hmm. T-Lo. <clears throat> oh, oh, I thought it was going to end right there. I was about to say, what? Hold up. They don't never end it like that. Mwah. Yo. 
Mm. See? What? Swipe. Thank you, Walt. Nah, come on, Walt. You you a real one, bro. You got the right idea. You let that man know, man. Get rid of that RV, bro. You let him know. He knows it exists, and he's trying to find it. He has linked it to Jesse, and it's yep. only a matter of time before he tracks it down. So Go! Get to it before the feds do. And do what? Exactly. It, it's RV size. <laughs> I mean, where do I go RV. to make an RV? Disappear. I'm not David Copperfield. <laughs> what do I the RV Blame. disposal people? The DEA. The Drug Enforcement Administration. You've heard of them, haven't you? I know you have. <laughs> I know all about <laughs> this RV, and they're trying to find it right now. Mm. All right, just... I know a better way. I know a guy hey, then, if you know a better way... Line. No questions yeah. asked. <clears throat> Call him. Charlie. Hey, it's me. And River Dancing. Want to hear something weird? No. Listen to me. You get that address. A bachelor, I don't care how you find out where he's taking it. Oh man, this is no, oh, this is bad, extremely yeah. bad. No, oh. the rodeo has started. <clears throat> Dang, she's gonna overstep. Damn, well, there goes her life. <laughs> the character gone. Excuse me, and the gentlemen, manager at that. these booths are for paying customers only. Cynthia, flip highs. Cuando by. Mmm. Sunset. <laughs> yes, my plan is working. Such a so good actor. The, the only time he frowns is when Heisenberg says no, he don't want to cook, and when he sees the Salamancas, bruh. <laughs> the only time Gus frowns, bruh. Mm -hmm. Only times. He never, besides that, it's a slow smirk or a straight face. He'll never frown. The hell you think you're doing? Huh? Hey, no, go. this is mine just as much as yours. You don't get a just Yes. Yep. Yep, you're followed. Yep. There it is. <sighs> you lie, Billy. What? You are back to what you do best. <laughs> He's here. You let him right to us. Hmm. Alright. gonna happen. Hank is late. Yes. I got it. This shit is crazy. Like, Hank gotta die. Bro. Get out this RV. They better hop out the sunroof and hope he don't see the back of their head or something. Or does this RV not have one of the sunroofs? It should, right? Every RV got the little giant. I'm trying to think, like, legally, can you he go? Through? That's what I'm saying. Like, you don't got a warrant. Can you legally you, do I, that? Who are you? What do you know about this RV? This is a vehicle. Saying the traffic shop. This. Is a domicile, a residence, mm. Mm. and thus protected by the Fourth Amendment from unlawful search and seizure. Mm. Just go Did you see us drive in here? Exactly. How do you know it runs? Exactly. There we go. What do those look like to you? They sure look like bullet holes to me. Oh. But I tell you what, why don't you call the Albuquerque police? That they were there. Tell them you got a DEA agent on your the property. Twenty guys rushing in here like. How could you have known they were there before you took off the tape? That's right. Hmm. Probable cause needs to be readily apparent. Hmm. Huh. Somebody in there. This <laughs> 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 is my own private domicile and I will not be harassed. Bitch. <laughs> <laughs> there it is, that detached bitch. <laughs> He's like, why? You got it. You just gotta be just. <laughs> yeah, Schrader, give me Merker, will you? Ram the shit out of his truck. To make our escape, right? You not about to escape in this damn RV, bro. Look at Jesse, man. He turning back to the old. Then <laughs> <laughs> just start launching. Him. Yeah, I got some. Who'd he call? Sony saw or Gus, Sony motherfuckers he talked to. Gustavo got pulled though. So let's see. I'm your cook. You need 200 a week to make this, this stuff viable. Henry R. Schrader. Uh huh. Yeah, who's this? Sir, this is Officer Elaine Tanner with the Albuquerque Police. Is your wife Marie Schrader? Yes, why? What? I'm sorry to inform you that your wife's been in an automobile accident. What? She's being airlifted to Los Ranchos Medical Center should be arriving there shortly yo you lying how is she what's your condition i don't um have the 
most current information, sir. But I think you might want to get there as soon as possible. Played you for nice. a fiddle. Played me, boy. I'm about I to know. say, are they that savage? Like, I mean, sheesh. Maybe if he told the Salamancas to do it, <laughs> would have did it. Oh, he about to spaz too because he think they incompetent. Like, nah, bro, she not there. Like, call her, bro. <laughs> like, call Marie. He doesn't. No. I'm just checking in. I'd love to have some idea what. Mm hmm. Fiddle played like God. a fiddle. I like how they saturated the color mm -hmm. or dampened it, like, then brought it back in. Mm -hmm. Yep. Fiddle played like God. a fiddle. I like how they saturated the color mm -hmm. or dampened it, like, then brought it back in. Mm -hmm. Yep. Starbo out in the middle of the middle. He's out in the middle of the middle. Sun set. Mm. Hank Schroeder. Schroeder. Look at that sunset. That is very true. It was indeed Hank. There you have it. The end of episode six with a beautiful sunset. Now that you know what's happened under the sunset, how are you feeling about this episode, Formo? Well, I will say this. It's a pretty good it. episode. Um, mm -hmm. It started okay. It started picking up. But I will say this. Very happy that Walt made the decision that he made when he found out that Hank was on that RV. Um, mm. and I said it during the episode. I was like, I don't think Walt is petty enough to just let Jesse go down because he know like things could tie back to him. Like even of course, like even if his fingerprints weren't in in the RV anymore, there's still the possibility of you know Jesse ratting. Like you know, so you <clears throat> you always gotta you know when you're dealing with co defendants, you always gotta think about situations like that. So I don't think it was 100% him just looking out for Jesse. Like, it was also his own, you know, yeah, interest. Of course. But I still appreciate that he did it because, like I said in the beginning, I'm like, what's going on with they beef? And, and maybe this is something, this, maybe this could be a turning point for them, you know, because Jesse's operation is completely gone now. Um, I mean, I guess he could kind of start back, but that's going to take quite some time. So I don't know. Um, I think maybe the beef could, this could be a turning point for, for what him and uh, Walt and Jesse were going through. So that... Definitely got me excited. Mm -hmm. And then, the like you said, the question of what happened under the sunset, that's crazy because, like, this whole time, like, he's right. I kind of felt that. Like, how come they don't, you know, target Hank as well? Like, why is only Walt on the chop? Like, I figured Walt, Jesse, at least and Jesse would be on the, maybe not Hank mm -hmm. because they just didn't, like they said, Bolsa had the DEA block going. Yep. But, like, just only Walt? Like, so... I mean, I guess it makes sense. Like, what, what the big head? You chopped the shit, mm -hmm. you know, the, the head of the Hydra kind of thing. But, but um, yeah, this is this is interesting though because, you know, Hank Hank is in a he is in a pushover, you know. So this this is a this is a harder hit in my opinion, you know, than just trying to get Walt. And it could actually work in potentially Gus's favor. I don't know if this is you know part of his plan, but. You know, you go and try to kill a DEA agent and you fail, you you lose with your life, basically. You know what I'm saying? That, that's 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 gonna yep. be the uh the the consequence of failure trying to kill an agent. You most likely gonna lose your life. So that could get them out of the way to just completely keep him out of the picture. Because I feel like even though he's tr giving up Hank, they're still gonna want Walt eventually, like at the end yep. of it. But right now, this is like he said, just to satisfy you. You know, while I'm still doing business. Go ahead, take the person who actually pulled the trigger and, you know, be patient some more. So so maybe this is like a double plan. Like maybe they'll just all go out in the in the, in the, the blaze of gunfire and DEA kills themselves and, and the Silver Surfer kills themselves and they all go down and everybody gets to be happy ever after after that. Um, so that kind of sitting in the back of my head as well. But I'm pretty interested, though, because I also feel like 
and I don't know why, but I was thinking a lot about Gomez this episode. So I feel like maybe with you know some cartel people on on Hank's head, maybe the dynamic duo of Gomez will appear. And I don't know, man. Like this this is a this was a pretty good episode. Like I'm, I'm trying to figure out which <laughs> which way things are about to go now. Like well, I don't know. Let me just interject here. I can just tell you this: you're not gonna see what's coming the next episode, guaranteed. <laughs> <laughs> Guaranteed, it's gonna come. It's gonna start off with a bang. I'm just gonna let you know that. Um, yeah, man, this episode right here. The reason I was so excited about this episode is because this really propels the rest of the the season. Like this, these actions really propel what happens in the rest of the season, like tremendously. So yeah, man, I'm I'm I'm, I'm hearing what you're saying. I like I like what I'm hearing. I see where your mindset is at, but man, you have no idea. <laughs> What's to come? I bet. I bet. That's crazy. And then we yeah. had the introduction of a new character, which is cool. Yes. yes. I ain't gonna lie. I already forgot that man's name. <laughs> <laughs> you talking about Gail? Gail, his name was? Yeah, you're talking about the, the other chemist, The right? chemist, yeah. Yeah, his name Gale. is Gail. Gail, all right. <clears throat> Gail Benick. It was hella close to Benicky. But yeah, it was but, um, close to yeah, close to Benicky. Yeah, so that was kind of cool. Um, I'm not sure what they're gonna do with that though. Like, I feel like they gave enough. Like, I feel like they gave enough character development for him to be interesting for like an episode, maybe even two. But I don't know if they, I don't know if that was enough to be like, hey, this is gonna be like a main character who who, who we'll mm-hmm. see more often. Um. So who knows? Maybe he'll just be a little side supporting character every time they see him at the laundry mat or whatever. But yep. I did like it though. I did like the introduction of his character because it just—I don't know. I like for one, chemist. This is a personal uh, fact about me: is chemistry is actually something that I really enjoyed when I was younger. Like as a child, I always kind of wanted to dabble in it. Never took that route, but you know, it was kind of cool seeing them nerd out. Like because <laughs> the, his whole time he's been doing this, he's been dealing with thugs and and meth heads. You know what I'm saying? Yep. He never really had another person to really nerd out with about the shit that he's doing. So it was kind of fun seeing Walt get all giddy and excited because Walt, he'd been having a mean mug face for a while now, which he definitely, you know, it makes sense why he has. He's been going through some things. Yep. But like it, it was good to kind of see him happy and nerd out and get all giddy with someone, um, especially because it, it, I feel like not only was it just, even if the guy wasn't a chemist, I feel like Walt just, you know, saw a lot of himself into in that person. Kind of like how when he met Gus, he's like, damn, this, you know, like even because before Gus, all he was dealing with was thugs, cartel, and, and meth heads. So meeting someone who's like more established and seems like just a regular citizen, right? Like mm-hmm. I could tell Gus, I mean, I could tell Walt likes those interactions. So it was cool seeing him hang out with Gail and they, them talk about chemistry and their credentials and just how smart fucking you gotta be to make the best meth. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, so, so it was cool. It was a good interaction. Uh, I, I really enjoyed that. I like that they threw that in there. So even if, like I said, even if Gail's not gonna continue to be a pivotal character, I still like the fact that they, you know, threw that interaction in there because mm-hmm. the laundromat is part of the plot now. Yep. And even if they don't have to show every time Walt is in there working, we at least have an idea of what it's like in there now. So yeah. I think that's why I like that they, they you know, introduced Gil. So that was cool. That was cool. I, li- I like this episode overall. Yeah, man. <clears throat> it, was, it was a great episode. Man. Like I said, there's a lot of things that's going to trickle on to, to further episodes. Yeah, man. So what you going to score this episode here? I'll give this one. Oof, I'll give it an eight point five. I was gonna say eight, but there was a lot of cool little things they did, like just with the coloring and the fil- the film, like yep. the videography, and like like I said, when they blurred out, when they kind of dampened the colors, and then once he found out Marie was okay, he kind of got mad, and the color came Coming back, back. in. He was all yep. red and shit. Like I like stuff like okay. that. So I'll give it that point five, that okay. eight point five for sure. Yeah, I like yeah. that. I like that you 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 seeing the little slight little. You know, director choices that he's making because yeah, he is making yeah. some really good choices when it comes to, you know, little edits kind of like that with the old recording and you know mm-hmm. filters and hell stuff yeah. like that. Yes, yes, definitely good. Well, man, there you have it. Those are formal thoughts of this episode of Sunset. Oh man, I cannot wait for this next episode. It's one of my favorites of the season. That being said, man, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. No. 
goal is 1K, so if you can't help some brothers out, man, we trying to reach a goal of 1K, so hit that subscribe button if you enjoy the content. And also, don't forget to hit that notification bell so you get notified when we go live. F-double-R is out. Peace. Peace.